In this video we're going to show you how to save your video footage to a FTP device for redundant video storage for doing a live backup. So just in case your DVR gets stolen, you can still have a backup video uh, to provide to law enforcement. So in this case, we have a camera attached to one of our tribrid units and I'm going to go into main menu then network and there are several options on the left hand side I already have pulled up FTP this will require you to actually have an FTP server either on your local network using a NAS or a FTP account with a service provider like GoDaddy or some other hosting company in this case I'm going to hit enable and enter in the IP address of my FTP server which I have being hosted on a NAS locally on the same network. That ensures the fastest possible network speed so video is backed up as fast as possible in real time back to the FTP server. I, I will enter my username for my FTP user on the NAS. In my case for my configuration the remote directory I don't need to put anything because when I log in as this user it goes into the authorized directory automatically on my FTP server. This is a configuration dependent on the FTP server itself. In my case I will leave this blank. In your case you may need to fill something in. In file length I'll put in 300 and this is megabytes so the file size uh, maximum file size for writing video files. I have my camera recording all the all the time at 24/7 at 2 megapixel 1080p, and also I have motion enabled. I'm not doing image capture, so this number is going to be irrelevant for me. The camera that I'm using is channel number eight, as you can see in the bottom right hand side. This is the channel I want to record or back up. I will select channel eight and I would like to do this all the time in the weekday option basically it's letting you select whether you want to do this only on particular days and hours or you can do it all the time to do it all the time select all in the time period this is from the beginning of the day to the end of the day so in this configuration channel 8 will be backed up every day of the week 24 hours a day and I will only be backing up motion events you can choose to do motion and regular scheduled recording or one or the other. This alarm portion only comes into play if you have a DVR that has alarm inputs in the back and you've hardwired an alarm to the back of the DVR. In this case I have not so I will leave this unchecked and I will only want to back up on motion because should an event happen and I, I need an archive this provides the, the guarantee that I will have maximum amount of video stored on my FTP server. Channel 8 uh, in the channel number you can also change it to all to back up all cameras to your FTP server. But keep in mind if you're recording at very high resolution um, the amount of time it takes to write multiple simultaneous HD streams is quite significant and you may not end up finish the DVR may not finish writing a video back to the FTP and may get stolen. So you want to make sure that you select only the camera you really need or lower down the resolution to make sure that your network speed supports uh, full writing of the file. Now I hit apply after I've entered all my settings I need and I hit test to make sure it connects to my FTP server and in this case it does it says connection is okay. And that's all. And once you're done you can exit out of the menu by pressing OK. So to go back, network, FTP, and in this menu you enter your settings in. This is actually a live video backup as it's being recorded on the DVR, it's being recorded back or, ba or uploaded to the FTP server. So in this case I went back to the FTP and it originally pulled me in channel 1. Of course I'm not recording anything so this is unchecked, but here, channel 8, I'll hit all, press apply, press OK. Go back, confirm, and it is doing that. You can ignore this. This will still do all the first time you hit it. It'll apply those settings.